Okay, let's dive right in. Let's give another one. I like this system. This is fun. Oh, it's my favorite. It's the frog. All right. I had no idea that frogs were used to help determine if you were pregnant. I know. This is new information for me. I know. Isn't it incredible? So for from the 1940s to the 1960s, the, the, the world's most reliable, first reliable pregnancy test was an amphibian, an uh, um, uh, African clawed toad, Xenopus. And um, it was a, it was a, there was a chap called uh, Lancelot Hogbin, who was a, a British scientist studying in South Africa at the time, who stumbled upon the, uh, the, the idea that if you, if you injected a toad with the urine of a woman, if she was pregnant, then the toad would lay eggs within 24 hours. All right, so inject the toad 24 hours later, you have your answer. Yeah, exactly. And you have... <laughs> I know, and do you know, I mean, it seems completely incredible, but right from the 1940s and 1960s, this was the standard test. So, I mean, in London, family planning clinics, downstairs, there were armies of prognostic toads determining the future for, for couples, you know, which is just sort of amazing, isn't it? I, mean, I actually tracked down this woman called Audrey, who's now in her 80s, and she actually had that job. She, um, I interviewed her for the book, and she told me about how um, when she left school and a lot, lot, of, lot of other girls all went into being secretaries and uh, she didn't. She went into injecting toads with, <laughs> with women's urine to try and find out if they were pregnant or not. Well, she said it was a little bit unconventional. She said it was a little bit difficult to explain at parties, but she did enjoy it. Um, but she said the, the toads were very slippery. That was the oh, hardest bit yeah. was trying, because they are, like, Xenopus, this particular toad that's used, is, is incredibly slippery and very hard to hold on to actually. Yeah, exactly. That was the amazing thing about the test is it replaced the rabbit test, which was what was used beforehand, is that a rabbit was injected that would actually kill the rabbit. Um, and so the great thing about toads was that they were reusable. You know. <laughs> but I don't think they were sent home. I don't think there was such a thing as a home pregnancy toad okay. test. I mean, that's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in your book, you mentioned that there was actually a downside to these frogs because some of them were released into the wild. Absolutely. So, I mean, what's often, you know, sad about sort of some of the mistakes that we've made have had rather catastrophic effects on wildlife. So. The, the result is when the sort of chemical tests came along for pregnancy, these toads became redundant and they were released. Many people, you know, perfectly reasonably thought, well, we'll give them their freedom for a lifetime of good service. Off they go, hopping off into the wild. Um, but the problem with um, Xenopus, the African clawed toad, is that A, it's a voracious predator. It's an extraordinary invasive species that eats almost every other toad, um, or sorry, every other tadpole of every other species of amphibian that it comes across. But secondly, what we didn't know about it is that it carries a fungus on its uh, skin, which is the cause of um, chytridiomycosis, which is this epidemic that's happening amongst amphibians, causing this enormous amphibian extinction crisis at the moment. So, you know, it, it's, it's just a sad consequence of our ignorance that we, we, we made such a, a terrible error. Yeah, yeah, that's really a shame. Mm. Are they working to contain the fact? Yeah, I mean, you know, you have people... <laughs> catching them, trying to catch them. But I mean, the thing about the, the, the fungus, it's a waterborne fungus, and once it gets into the water system, then the system becomes polluted. And so, I mean, it, it, it's not just Xenopus, I should add, that has spread it, but they are one of the agents of, of the fungus, yeah. Right, I guess the lesson is don't let your pets go into the wild unless yeah. they get into the area. Exactly, yeah.